Previously on Totally Boy Band, the band were determined to write a hit song, but the record company didn't trust them. Now I've got such a deadline on this record. I've already started getting my producers, my writers, to come up with ideas that they think would suit the band. Their management leapt to the band's defence. You guys are searching for a backup song. Yeah, yeah. I think we should knock that on the head. Have faith, Max. Have faith. You know, maybe... Shalek can't tell you what to do. Look, he can he... try, but he's no. got to get through me. And the boys all turned on Lee. He's a prick. <laughs> <laughs> No, I would like you to leave here and leave the group. No, there's nothing else to say, so I'll go. I just don't think I, I deserve not to be in it. I think that's the thing that's bugging me. Five former pub rivals have been selected to form a boy band to end all boy bands. Danny Wood, ex New Kids on the Block. Dane Bowers, ex Another Level. Bradley McIntosh, ex S Club 7. Lee Latchford Evans, ex Steps. Jimmy Constable, X911. With combined album sales of 87 million, a record label, and a top management team behind them, their mission is to reclaim their rightful place at the top of the charts. They had it, they lost it, now they want it back. It's the morning after the meeting. The band have only two days left to try and write their first song, but Lee has a crisis of his own to sort out. I just found a CD in my car, it's just some of my old, really old demo stuff, it's not even produced properly or anything, I'm just listening and it, I don't know, it just, maybe all the guys should listen to some of my music because they haven't really heard my music and it might, might make them realise that, you know, maybe, maybe there is a voice there. My, my view on it all now is, look, if this can work out, great, get back on it, let's make it a hit, let's make this band a success. Right, enjoy. Yeah, yeah I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's, go, let's go through to the meeting, shall we? I had no idea anyone was unhappy. I had no idea that there, there, there was even a slight problem. Had anyone said anything to you before yesterday? Or any hints? No, nothing at all. That, that's why I'm shocked. I was nothing at all. They seem to think that I'm some... I don't know, I think their terminology was a dead horse or something. Do you want to remain in the well, group? Well, I want to be part of this project. I'm just not going to lie down and go, OK, because I, I don't get it. You know, I don't think they've gave me chance. I don't think they've seen the real me. Suddenly I'm not part of it, and I, I, I just don't get it. If you want me to act as peacemaker in inverted commas and say to them, you know, I, I think this is completely wrong... I think it'd be wrong just to walk away right now. Um, also, so early on as well. Cos, you know, of course I want this to work, and of course I want to be part of it, and of course I want it to be as big as it could possibly be. If in the Middle East, Israel, Lebanon, Hezbollah can come to the table in the coming weeks, I'm sure five members of ex-boy bands can come to the table. Hi, Danny. Um, listen, you know, whatever the rights and wrongs of the situation... I just think it's wrong. I just think you've got to give the guy a chance. But the whole point is, the reasons we've given... At the end of the equation, um... You should be seen publicly to do the right, decent thing and give him a chance. So you think, then, that we should give another week's chance? chance. Just so what? So that the public will sit there and think, wow, we gave him another chance. Jonathan, we've all been treated because of how you want to be treated. And I don't, and, you know, he's been told bluntly he hasn't contributed. Jonathan, hang on. Jonathan? Yeah. Have you rang to have a conversation with us or just tell us this? Because I was just talking and you totally cut into me. I'll tell you right now, Jonathan. I'm not some little 16 year old punk being put into a show to make a group and make a single. No, I, I appreciate that. I'm not disagreeing with that. I don't even know him. I only know what he's shown me. The well, chance... No, 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 Listen, no, 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 By your own admission, you just said I don't... finish. Can I talk? By Can I... Your admission, you should, before making it a viewport, you should get to know him. Get to know him? I've heard his ideas in the studio. You haven't spent time with him in the studio. Yes, I, I have. Wrong, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, it's only gonna hurt what we have to do to get a single. Yeah, it's up to you guys. If that's how you feel you're, you're behaving the right way, then so be it. Basically, our decision still stands. This is a track that's come in this morning from one of our writers and producers called All Cried Out, which I definitely think could be the single. We're running out of time, and I need to make a decision on the single. Um, nothing I've heard from the boys has been any good. I do really, really like that track, and I think, um, you know, I think the boys will like it as well. It's called All Cried Out. I already don't like it.
it's the kind of thing that, you know, when people hear it, they're not going to sort of straight away slag it off. Absolutely total shit. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what they think is potential, yeah, for a single... Fuck that. Fuck off. Fuck a duck. <laughs> Max. Oh! D1! There it is, man. <laughs> Lats would have liked that song. In fact, I think secretly Latch may have written that song. I like the idea of the project. I'm obviously living the lifestyle again, you know, making the videos, traveling, meeting people, spending time in studios writing, because um, I actually do enjoy that. I'm no rock singer, I'm not like a rock god or anything, you know, I'm not even trying to say that, but my voice has got, got an edge to it, a very sort of, like, even talking now, it's like a husky sort of edge, and if I can incorporate that within the songs, even just a little bit, it'll be different to what the guys do. Hello? Hi, Lee, it's Jonathan Shallon. How are you, mate? You all right? I totally understand your side of it, and I understand you've got to go forward with the project as it is. Um, I don't think it's, you know, I don't think it's very humane, I don't think it's right, and I don't think it's professional the way it's been done, I really don't. They've made their decisions. Yeah. I, I guess there comes a point where I have to draw a line under it. Okay then. I'll speak to you later, Jonathan. Take care. Bye, mate. Bye. Mr. Shallot. That's the manager there. Uh, apparently. Danny's been on the phone. Danny, he's the instigator, man. It's all Danny. Um, on the phone to Jonathan, and I don't think they're going to change their minds, by the sound of it. So, it's really now. What does Lee do? Where does Lee go from here, I think? You know, is, is Lee going to make this work? Is there a solo project from Lee? Is there a band project from Lee? Um, who knows? <laughs> I ain't used to this kind of treatment, you know what I'm saying? I'm only go to like hairdressers up to in. Like 10 years off you, bro. I'll be what, 19 then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take you down to the changing areas. Mm -hmm. You need to take everything off, just slip into some paper thongs for us. Are you, are you fucking me, right? Hang on. I'm out of boxes. <laughs> I don't understand this paper knickers business stuff. I think you look like someone's had a shit on me. Don't be so negative, man. I like the fact someone's had a shit on me. <laughs> Only you would. <laughs> I'll leave you to float now for about 15 minutes. Would you like some iPads on? But it's fucking cold out there. Get the fuck out of here, man. I know, here you're missing Lee. Is that right? Yeah, I'll be talking. Fucking latch. We were talking about it a few days after we all met. We knew it was going to be a huge problem. And then when we started seeing what he could do... That was even worse. You no, know, because in a lot of these bands, you know, the, not everyone's talented. There might be one or two guys. But we got the four. We got rid of the one. The dead weight. Jonathan's on the phone, love. I think there's, I think there's a bit of shit flying about. Hello? Is that Mac? It is. It's Jonathan Shannon. I've got some news that will shock you, but won't make a difference to what we're doing. OK, go for it. The guys have had a meeting and decided to, to fire Lee from the group. OK. Apparently he can't dance, he can't sing, he can't write, he's rude to everybody, and he's a general nuisance. Mm. Now, I haven't had that experience with Lee, to be totally fair to Lee. He doesn't be rude. I have, though. Who's that? Oh, yes, Roseanne. Who? Roseanne's yes, here. Yeah, Roseanne, please keep out the conversation. I'm talking to Mac. I think he is talentless. He, I'm not talking about Lee as a human being. I'm talking about Lee as a talent within the act. I mean, you know, it's not going to make any difference to anybody, the fact that he's gone. Bye -bye. Take care. Oh, hey ho, onwards and forwards. As usual, as the record company, we're we'll the last. Yeah. We're, well, you know, we're either going to get the blame for it, and we're certainly the last ones to know, as usual. You know. Coming up, the record company has issues with the band. Are you going to do the moves on the stage and everyone's going to go, what? You know. The record company has issues with the single. It's your money and my ass on the line when no fucker wants to play the record. And the record company has issues with the management. There's no fucking song, Jonathan. 
Lee's time in the band has come to an end. You know, I don't think it's very humane, I don't think it's right, and I don't think it's professional. Faced with deadlines, the record company have found a song for the band to record. I do really, really like that track. But the band hate it. Absolutely total shit. There's only one day of songwriting left, and still no single. Despite this, the band must push on with marketing a non-existent song. Today the boys are doing a photo shoot for press and also for the single cover. This is a little different because our first one, real one together, and without the latch. Because he rocks. If um, we still had Lee in the band at this point, it would have been really tricky because we would have obviously spent the money on the photo shoot, done the photo shoot, and then he would have left the band and we would have had to cut him out. Um, obviously, in some shots, that might not have been possible if he was in the middle. JC, Rockefeller, y'all. <laughs> 98 style. you like that? Fuck you. <laughs> 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 like that supposed to be here with Keith Martin. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? Do you reckon, do you reckon we would look better as a four piece? <laughs> <laughs> This is the difficult job being a manager. You know, I've got a band here who've trusted themselves to me, and I've got a record company that aren't following through properly. I've sent over a proposal to Jonathan of how we're going to promote and market the single online, and uh, we think the proposal's really strong and um, great, and I think it will really do the job for us. You know, this is the digital plan that Concept have given me, which is ridiculous, all this paper, but actually it means nothing kind of knock it out stuff with no thought process through for this particular project. It doesn't actually answer any of my questions. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, darling. I've got to get two of you, bloody hell. How are we going to resolve this digital campaign in a way that's going to work to the interest of the group? I mean, the document's meaningless. It talks about... Uh, well, why, Jonathan, about Jonathan, and Jonathan, and Jonathan, Jonathan. Jonathan, can you shut up for one second, darling? If you're saying Concept Music can't deliver digitally, then why did you fucking come to Concept Music in the first place? You have decided to throw all your toys out of the pram. You won't listen to reason. I don't think you read or report. The standard document with a few attachments of famous names to try and impress me. Because no, it's not to impress you, it's to... It was to, shut you. The fu it was to make right you there. fucking shut up, Jonathan. But unfortunately, it hasn't succeeded. Have you just cut me off, you... Have you, Jonathan? Sorry? Have you? I thought you just put the phone down. Oh, it's so rude. Okay. Oh, okay, good. This is your ego, Jonathan. Oh, what's so it, what, I actually what find a ridiculous comment. This is your ego. What are, it's just I a, let you that's speak a, earlier. Nothing to do with it. My ego now. is to have a hit record as your ego is. It's no not one's ego. It's business. And the, we're in the, we're but Jonathan, you're like a fucking broken record now. What's this going on? Jonathan. I think, we're, we're, you know, everyone's getting a bit worked up here for no reason. We can't get music that's unfinished up on these sites, Jonathan. I'm aware how far in advance you've got a plan. Yeah, but we haven't... No. We, There's no I, fucking I, song I, ready yet, Jonathan, as you are well aware. Yeah, but the reality is the... the, 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 the um... But, yeah, but, it, but you can't... But it, nobody it. gives a fuck yet, Jonathan, because the record isn't finished. There's yeah. no fucking song, Jonathan. My clients, I expect the best. OK. That's absolute what? bollocks, Jonathan. That is total bollocks. To do it if you're not happy, darling, find another label. Cos, quite frankly, I've had enough. Well, if that's your energy, I ain't that sort of comment oh. absolutely helpful, because... Yeah, Jonathan, you guys she's, are locked into this. Jonathan, she's, but, but, she's not in the office. Yeah, you know, we jo all get stressed on issues. Jonathan, she's, she's not in the done. office anymore. So, yeah. Roseanne's walked out the office. She's not here anymore. Ridiculous woman. It's my job to know about everything. And when it comes to presenting artists to the world, I know a great deal. That's why I've sold so many records and had so much success. I actually think we should put a Jonathan Shallot record out because I actually think it would sell so much more <laughs> than a fucking Upper Street record because he's got a bigger gob than the four boys put together. <laughs> Today's the last day of the writing schedule. Today's been murder. Today's just been like, well, it's getting worse and worse. Hello. Little Miss Singleton survived. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. 
A little miss single. Ooh. You are looking good, man. Yeah, don't start. Please, look easy on me, man. I know you're going to give me some abuse. So how's it all going, all right? Nothing is jumping straight out at me and going, fuck me, that's just an amazing record. I've got to be honest, uh, you know, that what I'm hearing, the, the majority of it ain't great. So far, obviously, you know, I am still thinking that it's, it's back up. You know, it's, it's the back up that we've got to go for. Back up? Yeah. I just think it, it could be a safer bet. Um, well, uh, OK. I'm determined for them, for, for them to write, to do, do a song that they've written. Well, the pressure's on more than it's ever been now, I think. Well, with today being the last day of writing, uh, yeah. We'll sit down and go, go through it face-to-face on Tuesday. Yeah, we're meeting Tuesday morning and we're going to meet early. <laughs> Uh, man, right. I'm going to explode on Tuesday, man. If I if he wants to play us that song, after all the work we've done and all the good songs we got, and he wants to play that garbage song... Basically, like, listen, I know you've worked your ass off for three weeks writing, but no need. Already your, had the song. All your stuff sucks. Does Max have a hearing problem? <laughs> Max can kiss my butt. I'll smack him around a little <laughs> bit, too. <laughs> I'm just a bit, like... I'm, I'm not annoyed, but a bit... Yeah, I am a bit annoyed, to be totally honest. It's so hard, because I feel like I'm just pushing this, like, I'm, I'm the optimist, I'm trying to, I, I believe the guys can do it, and blah, 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 and I feel like I'm really up against it. I know you two have written some good songs. Do you think, do you think one of them is definitely a single, then? Yeah? They're all cried out. The lyrics are shit and the songs suck. So we're definitely not feeling all cried out, mm. OK? All cried out, yeah, they hate it. Well, the main buzz is that it is shit. The boys are gonna do it. They, they're gonna do it. You will have a hit, and they're gonna deliver you a hit. Mark my word. Jonathan, you keep saying that to me, and I've got to be honest, it's like... Give them a chance. No, exactly, the only problem is we haven't got a chance. If you find the greatest song ever, then clearly I'd be foolhardy to say no, but I don't think he will. It's gonna be like, Jonathan, it's my fucking money. You know, this is the song we pick, this is what we're going with. If they don't pick one of the songs we wrote, I mean, I'm gonna go home and stay home. Again, and it's well, you know, obviously, it needs to be produced. It gets blown out of water by everything we've done. That's a young yeah. kid's like, record. Out. Okay, I, I mean, the lyrics are pony as well. Like, skills, I think the lyrics are really dead. I think of pain, the yeah, scene but of the crime. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. Hang on, should we go through some of the other tracks? Yeah, let's go through some of the stuff. Yeah, okay, we let's can let's analyze some... every lyric because we do. This song is called The One. It's all very well sitting in a meeting and, and doing the moves, but are you going to do the moves on stage and everyone going to go, what? You know. Sure <laughs> what should the single be in your opinion, Max? We, we already know what he thinks of. It should be your song. Well, no, 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 because I, I think all cried out, you know, I, I'm not going to make you do something that you really don't want to do. We're aiming to have a decision by Friday. We hit the studios next wow. Monday. And um, are, you, are you happy with that, Max? Do you well, feel I, I feel that obviously, you know, my song got blown out the window straight away, so obviously. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> <you know? laughs> I want to have a hit with you guys, and I want to continue having a hit with you guys. Simple as that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies you and know. gentlemen, thank you very much. <laughs> you always do that, John. It's really starting to fuck me off, actually. Oh, bless. With the way Jonathan's. Con 
controlling the band, as it were, because I actually think the band are fine the bands with, are with totally whatever fine. decision we come up with. I mean, you know, all cried out, fair enough, they blew that out of the water, but I still think, on, in terms of a, a, a song, you know, no matter what Dane says oh, about the lyrics, no. it's only because they're deep. I don't think there's any point in trying to talk them into all cried out. No, no, of course not, of course not, and well, that's fine. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll deal yeah, with that. Yeah, but you're big enough to <laughs> accept that, you know. Yeah. That it's your money and my ass on the line when... No fucker wants to play the record, or nobody wants to have them on the TV show. Great song doesn't mean fuck unless, yeah. you know. People hear it. Okay. Max, at concert, was really keen to kind of try and hoist the song upon you, so I'm really pleased he hasn't. And I think, actually, when he heard the stuff you'd written, he was very happily surprised, because he wasn't expecting you to write as good a stuff as you did. I was a little worried about him. The way we left the meeting, I know he felt a little... Like we kind of stabbed him in the back or whatever, you know. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Later. You look very smart. I'll try my best. <laughs> Later. The one seems to be the unanimous choice. Do you feel comfortable with that? I do, I do feel comfortable with that. I, I mean, it was one that, I, as soon as I heard it, that there was definitely something there. And, you know, as it's my money, I, I, I sort of, you know, obviously, you know, I'm happy that, that the boys are happy to go with that as well. Pleasure. Nice one. Cool. Yeah, I'm quite excited now. Actually, made a decision, and uh, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think I think I think we'll get a result with it. Next time on Totally Boy Band, the band record their single. I feel so empty. But tensions are running high. You can sit here and rip the fucking shit out of me all you want. Then fucking leave the show. We haven't decided yet. The director and the producer been on this half a day and there's a million other things. Uh, if it wasn't us, we wouldn't have had those last week. We had one until this fucking thing. At the end of the day, I just don't want to speak to her because she talks shit.